following a local breaking news alert on the west side after a father and son are found dead. Yeah. Police say they are not looking for any suspects. Local 12's Joe Webb is live at the scene in South Fairmount. Joe, a very sad situation. Well, it certainly appears so, Paula. I mean, well, it obviously is a sad situation. Police say this investigation, obviously in its very early stages, but it has all the looks of a murder-suicide. A father and son found dead of gunshot wounds at 1878 Fairmount Avenue. No forced entry, and the weapon recovered at the scene. Now, police responded a little after 1 o'clock this afternoon. The two were found in a small home set behind the bigger home at 1878 Fairmount. Sources tell Local 12 the son was his father's caregiver. And he had told co-workers recently that that burden was becoming too much. Police removed the bodies about 3 o'clock and packed up. And police say the bodies had been there about a day. We have two individuals that are deceased in this house. One is a result of gun violence. We are not actively looking for any suspects at this time. There was no threat to the neighborhood then, and there is no threat to the neighborhood now. Now, one neighbor says that he tells us that he thought he heard a couple of gunshots last night. Police are now saying, despite what Captain Gerard said in that soundbite, they are saying that both of them died of gunshot wounds two weapons were recovered at the scene. They won't confirm whether one of those was used or both of them used. They're just not saying at this point, but they're telling us privately that it, they certainly think at this point it looks like a murder-suicide. Paula? You know, and Joe, when you look at the situation you described, a caregiver, so many families are dealing with an aging population and the stress of that, and, and you don't normally hear it go to this point, but I think a lot of people can relate to the, the stress of that kind of situation. Yes, they can. All right, and we actually are going to have some follow-ups later on in our newscast, really some resources where people can go if they are feeling that kind of stress. Brad?